Welcome back to the, the Kickback Lounge here at the Celebrate Fairfax Festival. I'm your host once again, Michael. Alongside me is Better Homes. How are you guys doing today? Good, how are you? We're good, we're good. good. It's good to hear. Before we start, I'll probably just go down the line, just introduce yourself and then what you do for the band. Um, Haley, I sing. Um, I'm Nick, I play guitar. I'm Damien, bass. I'm Aaron, I play lead guitar. Sweet. Have you guys actually performed here before? No. No, it's our first time. Alright, what are you guys hoping to get out of the, the set? Energy. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah. Our our stage shows really thrive on energy, so um, we we will try to bring it if it is reciprocated. Awesome. So they'll be at the Mason Nation stage around five o'clock. So if you're here, you check them out. But uh, have you guys uh, enjoyed yourself so far this weekend? Yeah, it's been nice. You know, this is this is huge. I didn't know it was this big, but that's pretty cool. I mean, yeah. So uh, <laughs> I'm awkward. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. So take me back to um, creating the group. What was it? it was back in 2016. Yeah, 2014, right? 2014. 2014. Okay, so I was in college uh, with Aaron, gotcha. and we were in theater together. And uh, I don't know. I think I had, I had written some some like parody songs about Harry Potter, and I was okay. like, man, I need a guitarist. So I went over to his house and we just jammed. And then uh, my friend Brittany, she was like, hey. You guys should actually play music together. And then, you know, we did a really cringe-worthy uh, photo shoot and oh, yeah. played our first show was at Bella Cafe in Stafford. Okay. Yeah. That was fun. And then it just kind of like kept growing from there. So, and so yeah. then how did you two guys get involved? Um, I found a post from a Facebook group like five years or not five years ago, like three years ago, three four years ago, from Aaron saying, "Hey, look for no guitar player," and posted a song. And I was like, "Oh, I can play that." And uh, so I just messaged him I think about it, or replied back about it and did a phone interview where I sang over the phone to Haley. Oh, he sang Blink 182. Um, yeah and, uh, <laughs> and and that was enough uh, and then I got I got on a live audition after that and, and he said was, yes. He yeah. said yes. Was he better live? He said yes to the stress. Yeah he was way better live. <laughs> yeah, yes. And, and how about you? No no I got in because um, they lost their uh, their former bass player and I'm just it was an old friend of Haley's and she's like hey, do you want to sit in for us and like hell yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> I've been uh, listening to you guys for a while and pretty much knew all your stuff so I jumped in and I've been in ever since yeah alright well your guys' latest release Roman take me through that the writing process making all that mixing and all that so Roman is based off the character of this Netflix series called Hemlock Grove so um, Roman is the yeah he's the name of the character he's like this creepy like vampire thing so I kind of like wrote it in the perspective of his character talking to everybody else so it's actually nothing to do with me or any of them. Uh, I think it's cool to like take different types of instances and make them into art. Like you know, you have one piece of art which is film, and then you transfer it over to music. That's pretty cool. Um, so I just I, some, I wrote some lyrics, and then you know, Aaron came up. I, was it Aaron came up with this like really haunting melody for guitar, and then everybody just kind of pushed in, and it it just blew up into this really awesome thing. Yeah. We, uh, we recorded it at Bias Studio, it was actually in Springfield, oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, with a friend of ours, Ken Barnum. Um, after we played like a, the Jam and Java Battle of the Bands thing, they do that twice a year, I think. Um, so yeah, legendary studio, and we love Ken, we've worked with him before. And um, so it was, we just did vocals with him before that, um, but now we're able to work with him fully on a full song, and it was just an awesome experience. It was, it was dope. Yeah. Are you guys going to perform that today? Yes. Yeah, uh, we're, for this, no, but we're doing that, to, we're playing it tonight at the Mason. Definitely playing it Yeah. We're definitely playing it Yeah, we are totally going to play that, yeah. <laughs> All right, so kind of going in a different direction from non-personal songs to 100% personal. You wrote the last album, or most of the last album. Yes. Right? I wrote all the lyrics for the last album. Gotcha. And dealing, it's mostly about heartbreak. So yeah. for you guys, how is that playing songs that may not have much emotional resonation with you, but still, like, I mean, as a person, you have those feelings. Is it, was it difficult at all to like kind of convey the emotions that Haley was feeling as well? Well, I think the, the emotions are, you know, they're universal. I mean, everybody understands heartbreak, and it's a uh, powerful thing. And so, you know, because of Haley's connection to it, you can get connected to it just by listening to it in the same way. And how is that yeah, for you? I, that's humbling. <laughs> I want to hear her. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Please, go, go, go speak. <laughs> yeah, I think you just like the music matched the lyrics right. very luckily. So. We love writing good guitar riffs, hopefully. So. Yeah. <laughs> and they matched up with the lyrics, and from there we just put it out, and then it got good reception. So That's we're awesome. just like, let's continue to do that. What about you? I was literally about to say the exact same thing that Damien was about to say. Um, 
but yeah, I, I think that that personal story is relatable. It is a universal concept. Plus the fact that we were trying to grow as artists and trying to be more experimental. Um, like all cardio, we record ourselves in a basement. And um, so we were learning and growing as Haley was sort of growing from that experience um, that changed her life. And uh, so that's a, it was kind of that kind of emotional experience for us too on the music side and production side. So should, now that you are recently engaged, should we expect another album but with different emotions? Well, um, so I don't want to give too much away because like... I think that this next album that we're working on is going in a totally different direction. Oh, yeah. I think we're, we're looking at some really cool vibes, but there awesome. there is a song that we recently wrote that is about my fiance. I love you, Ryan. <laughs> He's in Pennsylvania right now, um, so he couldn't be here. But uh, yeah, I uh, I think that like it's important once you release something about like so much sadness and like hurt and depression it's it's important to follow up with like the positivity yeah. so uh, I'm not good at writing positive but this new song that we uh, wrote it's it's really positive and I think it's actually pretty good so hopefully that sets some kind of tone for what's about to come sweet and so I was digging on your website and I saw that you guys have one of the tabs it says you'll continue to play music until someone asks you to play and stop <laughs> Is that something you guys would actually follow through with if someone came up to you and politely asked you guys to stop them? No. <laughs> no, probably not. No. They'd have to ask us less than politely. I, yeah. I figured that would probably be the case. We, we like sarcasm here at Better Homes. Oh, yeah. I, I just put that in to be nice. Yeah. 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 Sar sarcasm <laughs> is, is one though. of Better Homes' is like main yeah. attributes. I like that. that yeah. works well. So, uh, but, well, before you guys perform, I'll let you all plug anything that you have coming up. We kind of already talked about some new music, but do you have new merch or anything like that? We do have some new merch. Um, there's we got new t-shirts. New t-shirts. Um, this gosh. will all be for sale at the Mason Nation stage. Oh yeah, we'll have, at, over at our stage. Awesome. Yeah. Just you're gonna have to come look because honestly, I'm really bad at inventory. <laughs> but there's cool stuff. And so is there shirts, city yeah. stickers, yeah. all that? And what's the website too? Uh, Betterhomesband.com. Yes, the website. We have merch on there too. Yeah. Wishbone. Wishbone. So they're going to perform a single called Wishbone. I'll let them take it away. Cool. I wanted to walk you home. Cause you always go alone. Like you've always done And nobody else knows Nobody will ever know The way you're pushing me away It's driving me insane Oh, 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 oh I don't hate you But I don't love you anymore Anymore I can't escape you is my best friend It's the only one I've got Too many times You said you'd stay But it didn't end that way Oh no Oh, man. 
Facebook at Celebrate Fairfax to catch all these interviews, and I'll see you next time.